Bag fuel, baby. Being a rapper is the most dangerous occupation in the continental United States. Why would I do that? Yeah. As many times I had a chance to rap, no. What's more dangerous than being a rapper? Nothing. Probably being married. What? Being a police. Being a cop is next to being a rapper. I, I, I would say so. I think more rappers cops get shot so. at than cops. Are you crazy? Bro? Yes. Cops are nah. Uh, yes. I, I would agree about, with that. Yes. That's, that's not the danger. Oh. Like, cop, be, being a cop is tough though. Yeah, like like I I I don't like some of the stuff that they do, but I'm not I'm not gonna cap. The dudes that pulled us over and they let us go, the dudes and, and, and girls. Because we know how to speak, though. Yeah, but they kept it a hondo, though. They didn't have to do that, B. And they kept it a hundred with us, let us go. But you know why? Didn't fuck with us like that. Saw you had a little, you know what I mean? And let oh, you yeah. go. Yeah. Don't but, say nothing about them niggas. They saw you had a little, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, 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 and niggas let you go, bro. But, but in fairness, we, we, we know how to speak to law enforcement. We know what was going on within ourselves. We have history with law enforcement on a different scale. So when they're listening to everything, they're like, it don't make sense to even go. Like, remember, I threw the key on the dashboard. The windows was down. The lights was on. So if you're going, I was taught by my police family, like, if they do anything to you, at least it's going to be a mega lawsuit. I ain't trying to have no lawsuit. I, I, listen, you never know. I've had guns pulled on me, especially during New Year's. Tally. Tell me what the scene yeah. is like in California for what you're doing. Uh, like the media? Yeah, yeah. What What's going on here? Because I, I to, to be real, we we come out here on, on the strength of the people that we know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not hard for us to sit with a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? But as far as in the media space, I, I really don't know too many like yourself. That's why I wanted to... Yeah, honestly, on, there's on, on, not the a lot. There's a few. There's like... Uh, Power 106 and Brown Bag, shout out them. You know, mm -hmm. they, they have a Salute lot of them. dope guests um, on their platform. What about LA Leakers? They've been, they they started from, they freestyle. I don't, I don't that's consider crazy. them, that's, still right. that's not her. Like, like, per, like personality wise. Yeah, yeah, like, okay. like, 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 really? Yeah, like, but I know how they started off. They really was doing shit yeah, on But I'm talking like, about who, who's I it now? Oh, you said, you said Power 106, Power the Brown 106. Bag. My girl Gina Views, she was at No Jumper. Now okay. she's doing her own thing. Mm -hmm. Hakeem at OGM. They're based in LA. Um, it's a few here and there. We got Desi. He does like freestyles okay. on the corner store. Um, it's a few, but I would say the East Coast definitely has way more platforms and more yeah. uh, like media opportunities. So when people do their press runs out here, it's literally like the same three, four kind of like stops that they do. Homegrown, that's another one, DJ Head. Yeah. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it's like not too many. Oh, why? I mean, I, I find that crazy because this is the home of movies. Everybody has a camera. Everybody's trying to act. Everybody's well, trying to I direct. More, over here, it's more everybody's so focused on the art that they don't even want the media around them. I, did, I don't know if it's because of we just are, we don't have as many like artists. Like we only have West Coast artists versus people come to New York and do their press runs from everywhere. You know, they come from yeah. Atlanta, they come from Florida, what they I'm come from is People think DC. of this uh, like work. Like we think of it as a creative field. Yeah. They think of it as work. Work, like, okay. Like yeah, I gotta come on here to promote. Mm -hmm. so a lot of Who, people, the artists? I ask a lot of people to be on this show. And they're hesitant, like, I don't got nothing to promote. I don't, it's like, we don't, we don't talk to you about we that. Answer, we're talking about business. We're talking about business. You but but you know what the problem is, though? And we, we've we understood this. That's why Joe no. Rogan got so popular also. Because people just kept, he was here in L.A. And he was doing regular talk. Mm -hmm. And people didn't get it. Yeah. Nah, but people are afraid to look dumb on camera. They're nervous. How many artists we sat with? And first thing they would say off camera, I'm nervous. And y'all two used to be like, what? And I'm like. That's not the first time I heard that. It's true. You know, so when they get on these cameras, and you said it, one wrong word, one wrong opinion. But we take care, but I, I'm, I'm going to be I really mean, real. You never know. I know people 
they know of us and they don't watch the show because if they did, they would know we take care of people. Like we're not trying to clickbait nobody. We're not talking about no drama. We're really talking about business. And if you want to take wherever you want to take it to, it, yo, the plot is on I, you. I, 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 I don't, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'll give you pushback. I think they do know, but even if you're talking about the business, like when Snoop Dogg went off about the streaming numbers, people were like, yo, he probably got backlash for that. Whether it's internal or by big corporations, people are sensitive across the board. We got millions of people watching. Not all one million is going to agree with you. Someone's going to say, I hate him for talking about it. Just be an artist, make your music and get paid your little pennies. Sadly. Sadly. Is that fair? Is that right? This is the 90% you talk about. These are the dumb people, but they can influence uh, shit. Yeah, they influence the other dummies. Yeah, dummies influence dummies. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> How do you all feel like the scene is different, though, from L.A. and New York when it comes to, like, music and then artists doing, like, press or media or interviews or things like that? For me, mm -hmm. the scene, this slower here. It's slower. It's slower here. That, that's the thing here, like... Like how we touching down and we doing three or four people, they'll never do that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole spectacle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when you come to California, it's it's fluff. Like it, it got it got to be totally different. Everybody got to have their own day and their own time. You like, but you're only gonna film with her for for forty five minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like why? But her forty five minutes has to be spectacular. Then it has to have the right background. She has to have red. I have to have blue tomorrow for Hit Boy. And I gotta have. You know what I'm saying? Like that's their problem. And I I think because of all of that fluff, it deters them to getting to the to really what they can have here. Because because you have enough people coming through here to make a difference. Mm -hmm. Like, we got New York people coming to people who wasn't coming to really check, check us and shit like that. Like, like what people got to realize is us talking to each other is what makes people want to talk to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Because I, I know even when I film, like, my podcast, I film, like, in a bulk day all day. And that's draining, too. But I'll do, like, four three or four episodes at least each time I film, just because the production, the setup, the light, et cetera. So when when labels pitch me or when artists like pitch me to you know be on the platform or be on the show, there's a lot of things I got to think about on if it makes sense, mm -hmm. you know, is it going to be worth the budget? Because I'm coming out of pocket to mm -hmm. pay for editing clips, you know, studio, studio time. time. Hold on, you're a woman. Makeup. Right. You can't. You... Got to get my outfit. Yeah. People going to critique what I'm wearing. You know, so it's like all the things that you have to think. It's a full production, you know. So I don't know. I also think like it has to be worth it too a lot of times for me to want to do it. And, um, you know, we need platforms for every level. Like you need platforms when you're just starting out. You need a platform for when you got some buzz and you got actually something to talk about. And then, you know, you got your mainstream platforms that do big interviews and things like that.